you in this film, and I'm, I'm gonna predict it right now. You're gonna get nominated for an Oscar. Oh. You'll probably freaking win. I'm never wrong, dude. And I know your face is turning red and you're like, I don't know, I'm just Ready doing my blush. job. Dude, what did it feel like the very first time you put on one of those caped costumes? You feel like a superhero. It's, really? it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we did so many costume uh, and wardrobe tests and things, and but by the time that I was actually walking on set and I'm in the black leather or I'm in the white jumpsuit, it, it just... Also, I'm not seeing myself, so I, I'm, I'm looking at it on my arms and mm -hmm. on my legs and everything mm -hmm. and seeing the set. So it feels like I'm looking out of his eyes. Mm -hmm. That's this, that was the wild thing where it, it becomes an out-of-body experience where uh, it's so hard to describe, it was just amazing. This role for you is extremely emotional, physical, and mentally taxing. What did you have to do to get there, to prepare to be Elvis Presley? He's an icon yeah. all over the world, but especially you know, here in, in yeah, Memphis yeah. And, and around the rest of America. Yeah, he's, um, he, that, that was it for me. It was, it was stripping away the icon, stripping away the caricature, and finding the human, you know, finding his soul. That was what was endlessly fascinating and drove me every day. Um, and it's, it's just such a responsibility. So, you, 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 you know, I, I couldn't sleep for two years. Really? And uh, yeah, it, it was really, but just the joy of my life. Like, it was incredibly nerve wracking, but so exhilarating. What was your favorite song to perform and learn? Ooh, oh, it's so hard to nail down just one because, I mean, I feel like I just need a so couple. So, think about that. I'm going to tell yeah, you what my favorite was. What's your favorite? Was. My favorite was when you did Unchained Melody because oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. that seamless performance yeah. into that. But I also loved the Vegas stuff. The Vegas stuff, yeah. Yeah, when you were on yeah. stage in the Vegas stuff. Yeah, I love the Vegas stuff because I, I, I'm especially going from the rehearsal for Vegas into the performance. And um, there was it was so surreal doing that. It was amazing. Um, so, yeah, the Vegas stuff, I, I just loved. I love doing Poke Salad Annie. That's one of my favorite songs. Uh, that was one Baz was like, if you were to throw another song in, what would you do? And I was like, Pook Salad Annie. And oh, so okay. we got to that. And, um, okay. and also Trouble, because that has a particular, because of the context of the story, and the, 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 that, that time in Elvis's life where he's this, where he's really being torn, and, and he's got to, he's, he's got to listen to himself. And, and that, like, it's just so, that was so moving to me. And then, and also that time in Elvis's life, he was the most animalistic, the most primal, uh, you know, version of himself. So that was really uh, fun to do. Well, and wrapping up my time with you, I'm yeah. glad that you picked Trouble because this makes this a full circle moment yeah, for me. Yeah. I was on Broadway in a musical called Smokey Joe's Cafe. No and way. one of the songs I sang was Trouble. So no way. this is truly a full circle moment for me. And I'm so honored to meet you and wow. to talk to you and have this time with you. I thought you were freaking awesome. I can't say enough about you in this movie. Thank I really you so can. much. Thank you. Yeah, bro. That means a lot to me. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Austin. Oh, well, I wish we could talk all day. Yeah, so good to see you. Thank you. Good to I'll see you, see too. You later. All Thank right, you. baby. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.